Now here's problem four. Two right triangles have the same area. One right triangle has legs of eight and 24. The second right triangle has a leg length of 12. What is the perimeter of the second triangle? This is going to cause us multiple steps. First, we need to reread the problem and collect the information. Two right triangles have the same area. We need to note that there are two right triangles and they have the same area. So right triangles, same area. One right triangle has legs of length 8 and 24. And the second right triangle has leg length of 12. Now we're being asked, what is the perimeter of the second triangle? Now, let's make some shapes. Well, this isn't perfect, but I'll do this. So one right triangle. That's one right triangle. Another right triangle. Actually, I'll copy this whole thing right here. So that's the other right triangle. Now we're going to label the sides. So what does the problem say? The first triangle has legs of length 8 and 24. Remember, legs is referring not to hypotenuse, so this longer side here, but these two shorter lines, I mean sides, of a right triangle. So 8, 24. The second right triangle has a leg length of 12. So one of the lengths of the legs is 12. Now we're asking for the perimeter of the second triangle. Well, to find the perimeter of the second triangle, we need to know at least one other side. And we can know that by figuring out what goes miss that this missing thing over here. Because after, we could use the Pythagorean theorem to figure out this other missing side. But of course, we don't need to figure out this one, since we don't need that. Okay, now we're going to go back to the first sentence. It said that these two right triangles, they have the same area. Okay, so they have the same area. Let's first find the area of the first right triangle. That would be 8 times 24 times 1 half, or 0 0.5. And after we do that, we'll get 96. So the area of the first triangle would be 96. Let's just first call this side x, okay? So 12 times x times 0.5 is equal to 96. So that means that 8 is equal to 0.5x. Now if we divide a one half on both sides, it means that x is equal to 16. So we can fill in this box over here. Now we're going to find out the perimeter of the second triangle and we need to figure out what we'll call this side y. Okay? We're going to use the Pythagorean theorem to figure out y. So we're going to do that step by step over here. 12 times 12 plus 16 times 16 is equal to y squared. Okay, simplify. 144 plus 9 plus this is equal to y squared. So that means that 240 plus 160 is equal to y squared. So add those together, we'll get 400 is equal to y squared. 
So then y is equal to 20. Now that we've got y equals 20, we're going to use that information that we have to figure out the perimeter, which is solving, solving this question. Okay? So, we are going, well, y we already know is equal to 20. y is equal to 20. We're going to add these sides up. Add these sides up, and then we'll get 48 as our final answer.